Hi, I'm Andy Hudson from sittingborn.me and obviously we can't get out and do the kind of things we normally do. So today I've got a little treat for you. It's a kind of little quiz, just a bit of fun, um, and you'll learn how sad my music taste is. Um, so I've got 10 albums, all from the 1980s, and I'm going to see if you can guess who the artist or the album title is um, just from the cover. So let's give it a go. Okay, here's number one. Probably one of the most famous album covers from the 1980s. Have you got it yet? Yes, of course. It's Duran Duran and Rio. Whether it's their best album? Don't know. Kind of like the first one a bit more than this, maybe? Mm. Okay, and number two. Now this album artwork uh, by Brian Griffin actually won awards. Any clues yet? Okay, it's Depeche Mode, A Broken Frame. Their second difficult album um, after uh, Vince Clark left. Um, was it their best album? Uh, probably not, but uh, kind of love it anyway. Okay, number three. Classic album, this one. Brilliant. Got it yet? It's Tears of Fears and The Hurting. I like this more than the more popular album, Songs from the Big Chair. I think this is a classic. Okay, and number four. Do you want a clue? They had a hit with Fun Boy 3, and the lead singer later became very famous in her own right. Yep, it's the first album from The Go-Go's and Beauty and the Bee, an absolute classic. Okay, and number five. There's three of them, but they're only twins. Yep, it's the Thompson Twins and Quick Step and Sidekick. Um, I think their best album. Some people like their later stuff, but I like this part. Number six. Okay, once again, their lead singer also went solo. But this is their most famous album. It's Haircut 100 and Pelican West. And number seven. Might be a bit tricky because you probably can't see this that close up. But this is the Eurythmics and Sweet Dreams. Number eight. Any clues? It's Yazoo and Upstairs at Eric's. And number nine. Okay. Slightly more tricky than their most famous album, I'll give you that. But for those that uh, are around at the time, you should get this one. It's Spandu Ballet and Parade. Okay, and here's the final one at number 10. Definitely the most challenging one. I've thrown this one in just to see if you're a real expert. Um, I don't expect many people will get this, but here we go. Nope, they're from Germany. Alphaville and Forever Young. This is probably my favourite album of the 1980s. Okay, they might have only been known for Big in Japan and Forever Young, but this is a classic. Go check them out. Thanks for playing along. I uh, hope you had a bit of fun and now you know how rubbish my music tastes are. Bye. Discover more on sittingborn.me.